Welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on SABC3 as we celebrate Freedom Day. Welcome to it. We also commemorate, of course, the first post-apartheid elections that took place on the 27th of April 1994. And on top of all, we cannot forget about all those struggle heroes that made it possible for us to live in the South Africa that we have today. And uh, right now, we take a look at Ahmed Kathrada and some of the work that he's done throughout his lifetime. And that is him right there, yeah. That's, uh, I don't know if we know this, but at the age of 17, he left school uh, to work full-time for the trial Transvaal Passive Resistance Council. Uh, he was one of 2,000 volunteers imprisoned as a result of a campaign um, known as uh, the Ghetto Act to bring it down. And he was he spent a month in jail, and that's where it all started. Mm. He was 18, or rather, he spent 18 years on Robben Island. And I think we all affectionate know that he was affectionately called Kathy. And I remember at Tata Madiba's funeral, he was so distraught, and he said one of the words that I'll never forget. He said, "I feel lost." Yeah. without you here. I, self, I feel so alone and so lost and I just felt such heartbreak for him because I know how close the two of them were. And that's it. No, they were indeed. And if we talk about that, in 1994 and 1995, Katharada was elected as chairperson of the Robben Island Council and he remains the chairperson of the Robben Island Museum Council today still as well. Absolutely. Really, really an incredible man. And he, oh man, he did some phenomenal work throughout yeah. this world. Well, I love the fact that we are reflecting on all of our struggle heroes, all of the people who gave so much of their lives to make sure that we have a freedom today that we have never experienced before in our lives. And we'll continue to bring you more details on who and what they did for us. Exactly, but we also want to know from you guys, what are you doing for Freedom Day? What does Freedom Day mean to you? Log on to our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. Give us your comments also on Twitter, at Expresso Show, easy as that. Right now, here's Kat. Indeed, so as we continue to celebrate one of the most important days in our nation's history today, we celebrate Freedom Day, a day that marks the liberation of our country and its people. And of course, none of us can forget this day, 21 years ago, when we were able to cast that first vote to restore human dignity in our country. Now, joining us on the line this morning, we're joined by the Deputy Minister of Communication, Stella Dabini Abrams, to tell us a bit more about her memories of uh, this historic day in our nation's history. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Deputy Minister. How are you? I'm fine, my dear brother. How are you? Very, very well, thank you. Now, uh, I'm looking for you to, to share some of your memories of 1994, 27th of April. Do you remember what you were doing on this particular day? Oh, I remember very well, my dear. Mm. Because I was underage to start with, I could not have the opportunity to go and vote. Yes. But because I have always been part of the AIM structures, therefore I was deployed in one of the areas in the Eastern Cape called Elliot Dale or Clochas to those that come from the province, mm -hmm. where we had to make sure that throughout the voting stations, people are there and they're being received properly, and therefore they get an opportunity to go and exercise their own right, which was the first in history in terms of it being made. Mm -hmm. So yes, we were then monitoring, of course, thousands and thousands of people who were, went out in numbers to make it a point that they vote. And by that time, everybody just sang Madiba. Mm -hmm. There was nothing else. It was just Madiba whom everybody agreed that this is the man that has paid the way for the freedom that we have in our country. Indeed. And why would you say to South Africans, uh, should we remember and cherish this day so much, especially to our young people out there? South Africans should always remember that this is the freedom that we are enjoying today, but most people died and fought for it. That's the first thing. The second thing is that they must always remember that that was the first step into total emancipation of the people of South Africa and the people of Africa. The third thing is that it is important for all those, especially those that were born after that democracy, to make it a point that they play their own part mm -hmm. in, in shaping whatever that was left behind by those that came before us. Mm -hmm. Now, the baton is in our hands. Let's make it a point that we make the best marks so that when the other generations that will come after us, they, when they read about history, they too get to know that indeed Stelanda Ben Abrams did play her part. This is why today my life is different than those that were there in 1994 and, 2000 and, 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 and 2015. Indeed, I completely agree. We can't just stand by and not remember days like this. So how will you be celebrating Freedom Day today, Deputy Minister? Today I'm joining the President of South Africa and the masses of the country in Union Building in saying that as much as we have seen everything that has happened in the recent weeks, the unfortunate incident when we talk of the attacks against our fellow brothers, indeed this freedom means a lot to us and it cannot be totally achieved if our African brothers cannot feel free and peaceful in our country. Therefore, I will be there in Union Building to say South Africa has a happy and blessed Freedom Day, but don't forget to play your own part. 
Indeed. Thank you very much for taking our call this morning, Deputy Minister, and enjoy your Freedom Day. Thanks a lot, my brother. That is the Deputy Minister of Communications, Stella Ndabin Abrams, sharing, us, uh, sharing with us her memories of 1994, the 27th of April, of course, and telling us what she's going to be getting up to today. So let us know, what are you going to be getting up to today? Uh, in fact, where were you on this day? What does this day mean to you? Let us know on our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show, SABC3, and give us a call on 083-913-3728. Well, a man who's enjoying his freedom right now in the kitchen, I think, Mr. Stratum, how are you doing, sir?